probably like 20 times. I've been able to write down pretty much everything that you guys have in the menus and stuff, so uh, I'm good to go. I'm like, hands down, I'm done. I know this is my game. It's not even great potential. It already has it. It's done. It's just needs to be released now. I'm excited for it. I met some people who have like a division podcast and we hung out and like they're so enthusiastic about the game it's amazing like it was really great because I got to demo for them and they were so happy to play it and like, oh, when they left like they're all high-fiving and that's what makes it worth it. It looked amazing. If it looked this good right now I can't wait to see what it looks like you know on launch that's it's gonna be amazing I already know it's gonna be amazing just from what I've seen even the demos you know. And the kind of crazy hype for the division is ridiculous. I mean, like Spielberg rolled in. I like wanted to be a fanboy. I wanted to be like, ha ha, and I wanted to touch him. But then I was like, well, there's kind of guards, and they would probably punch me. I looked at it. I'm like, okay, tactical shooter. Found out that it's not just a tactical shooter. It's actually a lot more depth to the game. It was very, very gratifying for me. It's it's being able to really actually have a class, but not so much a class in a shooter game. I mean, that's. That's a big thing, for, especially for a lot of RPG people, where they want to be able to create a character that is not like the other person's. It's not just shooting a gun. It's really being able to have a character of your own. At first, I thought the time to kill was too long, but now I see how uh, the longer you have to kill someone, the more help people have, the more tactical you can get, because you can actually... Those skills are actually starting to matter a lot more, because those are the real damage dealers. As, that, at least that's from my experience. Because we do play all, so like together, often we know each other's strengths and weaknesses. He's really good at calling out enemy positions, so he'll be like, all right, I see someone here, and then we'll be like, all right, so-and-so, go like, go around and you take care of him. They know I'm gonna get shot first, so they hang around to heal me. Everybody seemed to have their loot all at the same time, and we were just fighting over the helicopter, and I was then throwing my turn out at them so that it would surprise them and start firing all at them, and they were like, oh, who's shooting at us? And there was five seconds left on the clock, two of my friends were down, and the, the whole, I found the whole team huddled in a corner. And I wiped out all three of them with three five seconds left. And you may encounter kind of like two guys right around the corner who are just like, oh hey buddy, like what's up? And they might just gun you down. So it's really like a risk and reward type system in that extraction area. And it's really nice. When we started this clan, I really was still interested in the division. I wanted to bring it over. And so I started telling everyone else about it. I'm like, hey, this is really cool. That's the biggest draw to me is being able to play this with my friends, talking, hanging out, going and playing this. And they're going to kick our ass. Like, there'll be like a two hour window where we're like, dude, we're so badass. This game will totally make friends with people. Of course, it'll probably kill some friendships and probably kill each other for loot.